Okay, guys, uh, I know it's been a while since I posted, but anyways, on to this. Um, I got this uh, Warrior, a uh, Yamaha Warrior, and uh, had all kinds of spark issues. It ran great, you know, and um, then I lost spark. Long story short, there's no real good um, information out there on how to properly hook up an aftermarket CDI unit. I'm talking about like a Chinese CDI. And um, uh, I mean, there, there, there's, there's information on, on what goes where if you already know what the wires are and stuff. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it down for you, like Larry Dale would say, chapter and verse um, on how to wire up this uh, Chinese CDI. I've got a DC unit, but it should work the same for an AC unit with some various tweaks, and I'll explain that. And um, this is not knowing a damn thing about what color goes where uh, or any of that crap. So here you go, breaking it down. Okay, so here is my magneto. Some may call it a stator. I've called it a stator and magneto. I've always been kind of uncertain about them. Um, but um, the specifics, right? You have your wire sets coming out. Now, um, you'll have three wires coming out that are together, all right? Whatever caller they are, uh, I don't think it matters a whole lot. Um, these go to your regulator. Boop. On the Chinese uh, stator that I have in there, the three wires coming out are white, black, and yellow, and they plugged right in. It is AC power, and so that's why it shouldn't matter which is what. Um, but anyways, these three wires go to all of these right here <clears throat> they produce the power that will charge your battery all right now these two wires in my situation you'll have to track them down on your situation they go to this coil right here this coil provides ac power to your ac cdi unit so, if you have an AC CDI unit, these right here are what will power it up, okay? I am not using an AC CDI, so these are useless to me. They will just remain unplugged, and I'll tape them up so that they'll be waterproof. Maybe someday I'll switch over and do an AC CDI for whatever reason. I don't know, all right? Then the last two wires, you'll have to, again, track them down because the collars don't mean anything. You can clearly see that these blue one, this blue and red wire goes to, see it's blue and red, goes to the trigger, right? This is your pulser or your trigger coil. Now, um, this is what you need to trigger your CDI, all right? Now, the Chinese stator that I'm using, I was lucky, it's also blue and red, all right? But anyways, uh, that doesn't matter. These go to my pulser or trigger, right? These go to the um, small, uh, the big coil right there, and that big coil provides power for your AC CDI. All right, again, I am not using an AC CDI, so I will just uh, tape these up. I'm not even using this. This produces about 75 volts AC. Uh, this, which is your trigger, produces 0.2 volts AC. All right, uh, actually, I, I, I feel like it can't be AC, it's gotta be DC, but it doesn't matter. These right here produce the power. Now in my current situation, the blue turns into red 
and the red is actually your ground. Now, I found that it does work either way, right? Using this as positive and this as ground, but um, I did find it seems like it produce a, produces a better spark whenever I use this wire as ground. So you'll have to play around with that, all right? So to get your CDI to work, what you need to do is you need to find out which is your trigger wires, all right? Again, your trigger. This is your trigger. In my case, it is this blue and red wire. The blue and red wire produces power on its own. It does not need any, all, actually all of these. They produce power by your flywheel turning and running a magnet across these coils. Anytime you have this wound up coil, um, just simply running a magnet across it is all you need to produce power. You do not need your 12 volt power to charge, to get this thing going. So everything here, right, is completely, this will produce its 2.2 uh, volts without any power source other than itself, all right? One side goes to ground, or in this case, one side goes to ground, the other side is your actual power, all right? This over here, again, I know I'm repeating myself, but it, we have to, this is really, really confusing to a lot of folks. This right here produces about 70 volts of AC power, and it is what would be used to give power to an AC CDI. All right, now, the finality of it. So what I've done here is my, pulse, uh, my trigger, all right, my trigger. This is my trigger, all right? My trigger wires, I've got one side going to ground. The other side is going to the top left connection, right? And this is actually the trigger power telling this thing when it's supposed to fire, all right? We got two ground wires. They're both tied together and just simply grounded, all right? Those are on the bottom of the left connection, all right? This uh, black and yellow wire here goes directly to the coil, all right? Now what's left? The only thing that's left, now this is a DC CDI. So I am running DC power to power this. So the blue and white wire in the top right corner, now these could be different colors, but you know, whatever. This right here, it says it's for switched DC. Now I have used it in various different ways. It honestly seems completely pointless to me, so I will not use it. All right, this is where your CDI unit gets its actual power from the positive side of the battery. So, the way we wire this up, okay? Right, bottom right, bottom right, we are running to positive side of the battery, all right? Top right is bogus, don't even use it, all right? The two grounds on the bottom left connector, they are just tied together and grounded. All right. Your um, top left comes from the positive side of your pulsar coil, All right? your trigger. The other side of the trigger goes to ground. Now ultimately this right here is going to be, it, you know, it's the same wire. It's coming right back to these bottom ones, all right? So, whenever I tidy this up, this wire is going directly to these two wires, all right? And then lastly, so you've got your power source, you're grounded, 
you got your trigger, right? Your trigger is telling this to do something, right? And then whenever it tells it to do something, right here, the top right of the left-hand terminal goes to the coil. All right, so now that hopefully you have a better understanding of how this crap works, you can see I've got good spark. So now the only mystery still left slightly unsolved is the three wires that are always going to be connected together going to your regulator. These right here generate power. Just by simply running that magnet on the flywheel across these coils. All right? By doing that, they generate power, goes into the regulator, and the regulator has a, po uh, a positive and a negative that goes to your battery that charges the battery. So, we're done. The only thing that I haven't tested on this, because obviously it's still not running, is whether or not it will charge. So, I'm certain that it will, but if for some reason it doesn't charge, then I will face that, you know, uh, whenever it comes time. But it will fire regardless of whether or not this is going to charge this battery. Um, so there you go. And I hope this clears everything up for you guys so that you can use an aftermarket CDI on almost anything. All you've got to do is locate which wires come from your pulser, right? This is what will tell this thing to fire. And that's why I went with DC, is so that I didn't have to worry about trying to figure out this thing. This is your AC power that is meant to feed an AC CDI. But if you've got an AC CDI, it should be just as simple as one of these wires, which come from that big coil right there. One of these wires is positive and one's negative. And since it's AC voltage, it should work in either direction. But one would run to ground and one would run to your power or they may be set up that ground and power, you know, something like that. But anyways,